from Coin Local 6. This is a Campaign 2012 Special Report. After months of campaigning, billions of dollars spent on local, state, and national elections, election night has finally arrived. Portland is about to elect a new mayor, Washington a new governor, and the country a president. Welcome everyone to Coin Local 6 at 5. I'm Kelly Day. And I'm Jeff Gianola and Coin Local 6 everywhere tonight covering campaign 2012. Here's a live look at Multnomah County Election Headquarters. A steady stream of people dropping off their ballots all day, stretching into the evening. The line now wrapping around the block. Now keep in mind, Multnomah County has just over 450,000 eligible voters. That's about a quarter of all the voters in Oregon. And so far, about 53% of all the ballots have been returned. Coin Local 6 has a team of reporters tonight following the biggest local races and measures. Jessica Morkert is following the election turnout for us in Multnomah County. Ken Boddy and Lisa Balick are tracking the Portland mayoral candidates. And Carla Castaño and Casey Montoya are with the state Democratic and Republican parties tonight. Cor Harlan in Washington tracking the gay marriage and the marijuana measures. But we're going to start tonight right at the top in the hotly contested presidential race. Here's a live look right now at President Obama's campaign headquarters. Supporters there are anxiously awaiting the results to come in, and they are starting to. Tonight, President Obama, the first family, and his campaign team, though, are in Chicago. They're in that area watching the returns come in. He chose not to campaign today, leaving the last minute stumping to Vice President Joe Biden, who actually made a surprise stop in Cleveland, Ohio, just this morning. Republican Mitt Romney broke with tradition and did a little campaigning on this election day in Pennsylvania, while vice presidential candidate Paul Ryan toured Ohio. Now, here's a look at the early results that are in from just a handful of states right now. Romney has an early lead with 33 electoral votes, but polls are still open in some of those battleground states. And as we mentioned, a lot of people are still standing in line just trying to put their vote in.